already joined my family. Today is super exciting for me because I'm taking care of my favorite place in the kitchen, okay? My favorite place, which is my coffee bar. You know why it's my favorite place? It, it calms me down in the morning. You know, my routine in the morning is this. It's real simple. I get up, I come over here, I fix this coffee, and then I go in my office and meditate for just a few minutes before I even have a major conversation with anyone, including my husband. So I said all that to say, neither one of us really cares how this coffee bar looks unless we have company, you know, because we don't really pay attention to it. Our only concern is getting over here, getting some coffee and just getting started with the day as far as like waking up. You know, so nobody really cares, but this area is really trash. And um, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so you see what I'm talking about? If you look closer, look at that. Oh my goodness, that's coffee creamer on the side. And then look at the crust. Look at the crust. <laughs> the residue on top. Ooh, and look how just, ew, I don't even understand how it gets like this over here i think so you know with the turmeric and stuff and the you know what we put in our coffee but still i don't understand how it gets like this i don't see any of this in the morning i, I really don't <laughs> it is long overdue i think the last time i did this was a few weeks ago and but i didn't really um do a thorough, thorough clean, like what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm actually going to be removing everything off of um, this space and wiping everything down, and giving it a total refresh just because it's time. And I suggest that you do that uh, periodically in your kitchen as well too, especially if you have like a section like this where you have a designated coffee bar. A lot of times there's creamer. We don't use sugar, but you know, if you do use sugar, there's sugar in places that you didn't know was there it's there honey it's there you need to move this stuff out of the way like me and, and get it cleaned up okay but there's no judgment because i know you're not judging me right <laughs> anyway thanks for hanging out with me i'm gonna go ahead and get into this cleaning if you are um cleaning along with me today let me know in the comments section also say hi i love chatting with you and we're gonna go ahead and get started Don't you get it by now? Tell me what you learned in grade school. Give it to me like you want it. Did you forget that good? Why is I love it one sided? It should really be give and take. Fill you up and leave me empty. Baby, was that the my mistake? Covering his feelings. Going through changes. I'm just so mad right now. Just tweet it and delete it Knowing you won't read it Before we get too far away I need to clear my mind I'd rather just tweet it and delete it Before we cross the line And we reach a point we can't reach Baby, I need 
first time I just want to say welcome and thank you so much for hanging out and for those of you that have already subscribed and you've been watching and hanging out with me welcome back you know there's gonna be some random giggles in this video I'm just saying <laughs> um, but anyway I just wanted to pop in here and just tell you guys something that's been on my mind for those of you that don't know um, a few months ago I did a major career change um, I went into real estate full-time and it was something that I wanted to do but I never had the guts to do it and life started happening and just things started lining up and it was just like you know you know in my mind I was like you know what if you don't do it then I don't think there's ever going to be another opportunity for you to do it so you know I prayed about it and I went ahead with my heart and I am so happy that I did. I'm thankful to God for giving me the strength to make the decision to um, just follow my dreams. And I'm blessed and fortunate that I have a really good support team, you know, as far as my family and friends. And um, I'm just thankful. Um, I'm not going to sit up here and tell you that the career that I chose to be in is very easy and you know i have i live a life of leisure because i don't that is the reason why you see this coffee bar looking like this <laughs> but my career choice has definitely changed my life i really enjoy um meeting with clients and just you know just being there in those moments when they are just making one of the biggest decisions of their lives which is to purchase a property or sell a property um, my husband and I have uh, been in the same situation you know a few times so I know the giddiness that happens and the joy and you know all the emotions that come along with uh, that process so I feel like I'm really privileged and honored to be a part of it um, but I guess what I, I really want to say to you guys is if there's something on your mind and on your heart that you want to do, go ahead and pursue it. You know, don't let your excuses stop you from pursuing your dreams. Um, you've been given <laughs> that vision for yourself for a reason. And if you don't pursue it, you just never know what would have happened or could have happened. Um, you know, if that dream of yours became a reality. Um, you know, you got to think about it like this. Your life is always a testimony for someone else. And if you decide to pursue your dreams and continue to work towards your goals, you will be rewarded in so many different ways. So I just wanted to share my heart with you guys. And um, I hope that helps you. <laughs> Can I get your, can I get your 